Hey everybody, this is Pastor Brian Ross from Grace Life Bible Church in Grand Rapids, Michigan. I uh, just wanted to come and do a short video today announcing my the publication of my new book, Rightly Dividing E.W. Bullinger, Assessing His Life, Ministry, and Impact. Uh, this book was published uh, late last year in December of 2020, just before Christmas, by Dispensational Publishing House. And here is the uh, Dispensational Publishing House website and the link to where you can order the book. So I just wanted to uh, do a video uh, real short about the book. Um, this book is a combination of things that I did for the Grace History Project and for a article I wrote back in 2014 for the uh, Journal of Grace Theology. And we put this together, myself and Dispensational Publishing House, as sort of a precursor for the Grace History Project. Um, so just a few things about the book. So one of the things that I did when I was doing the Grace History Project is I applied a technique, a skill, that I learned working on my master's degree in military history called historiography. Historiography is... Uh, a methodology of studying history where you are really trying to focus in and zero your attention in on assessing the developments of thought over time. So what I did with Bollinger and Sir Robert Anderson and a lot of the uh, dispensationalists of the late 19th and early 20th century is <clears throat> you have to take their works and lay them out on the table in, chrono in the chronological order that they were written and then read them with the goal of not just reading to understand, but also to analyze the thought development as you work your way through time. So that's that's what we did. That's, that's how this book came about. Um, and there's a lot more that could have been in the book that will be covered when we get to Bollinger in the Grace History Project. But here's just a brief sample of what's in the book. So the book kind of covers, it's a mix of biography and historical theology. And um, it's not the most extensive biography. What, what I'm most excited about are these, are these portions right here about the emergence and solidification of the, uh, yeah, solidification of the Acts 28 position. And then the appendix, which covers the postscript theory and whether or not Paul knew the mystery, which is an evaluation of E.W. Bollinger's postscript theory. So there are things in these sections particularly this analysis of the development of his dispensational views and then how it impacted his later thinking on um, the mystery in Romans chapter 16, verse 25 and 26, that I, I would say literally um, you're not going to find in print anywhere else. They are original analysis that I have done through my own study uh, using a histo histo historiographical method, like I mentioned earlier. So you start by reading his early works, 10 Sermons on the Second Advent, and establish a baseline of Bollinger's dispensational views. Then you can read his early stuff like this one. This is The Mystery, um, and this one is actually the fourth edition and is dated. It's fallen apart. It's dated from 19, I don't know if you can see that, but 1928 down there on the bottom, as well as the church epistles. Both the mystery and the church epistles were written before the turn of the century. They were written in the 1890s. And then, you know, Bollinger is not living in a vacuum. He is influenced by Sir Robert Anderson. So there is uh, a very old copy of The Silence of God. This is a, this is a fourth edition. Um, so you, you read all those, and then you end up here with, you know, Bollinger's last book that he published before he died, The Foundations of Dispensational Truth. And then, obviously, the Things to Come journal is the most uh, current. Bollinger wrote monthly for the Things to Come journal, and many of his books, such as this one here, The Mystery, from 1894-1895, appeared in serial form in the Things to Come journal. So this book, The Rightly Dividing E.W. Bollinger, this, this book serves as a precursor for the um, Grace History Project, and then it also contains original analysis about the historical development of Bollinger's dispensational thinking, as well as assessing the origin of the X-28 paradigm. 
of, dis, of, of dispensational thought. So if you're interested in Bollinger, if you're interested in the history of dispensational theology, if you're interested in understanding hopefully more clearly a, um, a, a real important mind in the develop, historical development of dispensational theology, you're going to want to pick up this little booklet, Rightly Dividing E.W. Bollinger from Dispensational Publishing House. It is also available on Amazon. You can buy it in Kindle format for $3.99 if you are, um, prefer Kindle format. I actually waited to make this video until the Kindle format was available so I could include that in the announcement. So hopefully you'll uh, take take some time and check that out. And um, I, if, you, if you read it and if you uh, have any feedback for me on it, I'd love to discuss uh, the work there. You can leave um, reviews on Amazon, only good reviews. No, I'm just kidding. But you can uh, leave reviews here on Amazon uh, down here. You could be the first to view it. I might even post this video down here. You can review the product. Uh, you can also leave a review on the Dispensational Publishing House website if you are so inclined. So if you're interested in the history of dispensational thought, if you're interested in Bollinger, please make sure to uh, pick that up. Anyway, thanks for your time.